Hello, thanks for checking the video out. Sometimes when I'm in Logic Pro, I press the wrong button. I'm human, it happens. Um, sometimes if you're pressing the solo button, you'll notice that you get the solo button with a red line through it. Now, what is this and why is it useful? Because it kind of seems like an accident, but it's not. So this is solo safe mode. And this is useful in specific scenarios. For me, I'm a bit of a solo button demon. I like to just quickly flick between stuff if I'm trying to solve an issue, trying to solve where this problem is. Let's find out what the solo safe button is, what it can do, why it does it, and generally why. Let's go. Okay, so for this, I've brought my guitars up near my snare, which is something I don't normally do, but just for ease of floating around the screen. So if we've got a snare, just here, we've got our solo button. We can click it and we're just gonna hear the snare. We know how a solo button works. This is on the snare bus, by the way. If I solo, I don't know, a guitar, and then hold option and click another solo button, it will cancel the first solo and just engage the next solo, like so. There you go. So I'm just holding option there and clicking the solo button. And that is kind of like a get rid of the previous one and just do this next one. Now this is where it comes into play because it's really useful for when you're switching between stuff, but that option solo thing uh, still allows solo safe to be engaged. So in essence, what solo safe does, if I click solo safe on my snare bus and just have the rhythm guitar soloed, then it means that that solo doesn't really affect the snare. The snare is still going to play because a solo button is two things. A solo button is saying, just play this thing, but it's also saying mute everything else except this thing. And that's kind of a better way of thinking about it, that it's actually just like muting everything else except for that. So if I now play it, because I've got solo safe on the snare, we're gonna hear the rhythm guitar and the snare. Okay, if I take that solo safe off and then just play back the guitar. Okay, so why is that useful? Well, as I said, with the option solo kind of stuff, it's useful for me because if I put the um, control click on solo and put solo safe on, if I'm then flicking between these two rhythm guitar tracks, for example, say I want to hear a resonance or I want to hear where the snare drum is kind of getting in the way of those, then I can just flick between these or flick onto the toms or flick onto the kick or whatever. And that option solo thing is not going to get rid of the snare. The snare is just going to play at all times. That's essentially what a solo safe is. It means play this track at all times, regardless of what I've got soloed, regardless of what I'm trying to solo. So if I then press play, we're going to hear the guitar here and we're going to hear the snare. And I can then just do that solo defeat thing and go through loads of tracks and we're still going to hear that snare. Okay, so that solo defeat, as I'm calling it, I think that is a thing. I don't know if that's what I'm doing or not, but that's what I'm calling it for the sake of this video. Um, where you can press option and kind of go through solos. That's really handy for me if I just want to hear just that one. Now I just want to hear that one. Now I just want to hear that one. Well, solo safe just means that the track that you've got solo safed, solo safe on, solo safed, is just going to play regardless of any other solo information. Because solo is kind of like a hierarchy like that. So. If you've got a solo button and you've got a red strike through it, that is solo safe mode. And it means that any solo that you put on another track is also gonna solo whatever's in solo safe, as I think I've just demonstrated. Hope that's helpful. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else on Logic Pro that you need to know about. And I'll see you again soon. Take care.